So an integral part of the permaculture system is compost, which is natural waste that's broken down and used as fertilizer for the plants. Instead of running to the store and buying a bag of dirt with chemicals in it, they utilize compost, which is organic materials broken down. So that can be vegetable peels, fruit peels, paper, and animal poop. So um, to, to sort of Part understand of what this system is doing right here, um, so you're feeding the chicken weeds um, and seeds, um, and then the chicken's pooing into the um, <laughs> pooing into the water here, mm -hmm. and then the water's getting the nutrient from that, which is full of microorganisms, which plants feed off, and then that water is then overflowing down into oh. uh, irrigation systems, which then feed the rest of the garden. Oh, so that's why it's beneficial to have uh, animals um, higher up on the land because their nutrient then filters through the land um, and, it, and it's creating a, a cycle, a closed cycle. So apparently cow shit is awesome because cows have multiple stomachs and in their digestive system. So the matter that passes through is more refined. Cow manure is the best uh ingredients for mm. compost. Why is the cow the best? The cow has multiple stomachs and it has mm. such a huge uh, diversity of microorganisms living in its stomach. Mm. So um, when you're taking cow manure, it's like medicinal, you know, some, in some cultures they use it on wounds to heal mm. wounds, you know, um, and, and you know, in India and other places they even use it to uh, uh, seal the floor of their home, you know, it's very integrated into a lot of cultures in the world and that's because the manure of a cow is actually such an, uh, an amazing thing. Um, in, in creating diversity of microorganisms in the soil. As the compost is being broken down by bacteria and microorganisms, you can add in red worms to speed up the process. Um, but this one is ready. This one, the ready compost. Um, and the worm's body, the worm also has a relationship with uh, microorganisms. So within this worm's body, as it pulls um, the food that is fed to it through its body, it is um, then um, uh, creating um, a, a compost as its own waste, which is filled with a huge uh, range of microorganisms. Yeah. Even we, we can uh, use paper, shredded paper, for making compost. And then there's liquid compost, which is thriving with microorganisms and bacteria and is a direct form of food for the plants. Liquid compost is the easiest way to, uh, like if you want to build your ho own home garden, I think s this one is better and this one is easier. Like we still need cow manure and then also organic uh, waste from the garden. Like we can use the, the green grass or gre green leaves. It needs only two weeks to get ready for the plant. Uh, we use sugar for the bacteria, for, for the food, for the bacteria. The pond system is really interesting because at night they set up lights and the lights attract flies and bugs and then those flies and bugs die and drop into the water and where the fish are. So the fish eat these flies and eat the insects shit it out and then the water becomes super nutritious with all this fish poop and they use that water to feed the plants and then later the farmers themselves can eat the fish so they're basically giving themselves the energy the first day that i volunteered here we got um like heaps of fish from in here we went fishing with fishing rods and caught yeah. Um, enough for a massive feast for someone's birthday here of catfish. Yeah. <laughs> so then there you go, you put your energy in, you're working to maintain these systems and then you get food to continue having energy to work in these systems. So it's like a, uh, a very beautiful relationship that you share with the animals and the plants uh, that you work with when you're in these spaces. The cool thing about compost is that you really don't have to do a ton of work because nature's already doing it for you anyway. So you can just add in different components of nature and let it run its course and complete the cycle and the work's done for you. With the strong tourism 
aspect that's that's coming in Bali. A lot of organic farmer also planting plants that is not actually local local plants like local vegetables. They start uh, growing salads and yeah, uh, to something kind of appeal to the to the to the, to the farmer to the tourist because maybe the hotel restaurant they asking for it instead of uh, imported. Right. Yeah. The animals aren't just cute and fluffy, they use their poop. And that's really awesome. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Giving nature more of the tools it needs to accelerate the process, you just add more nature. <laughs>